kudos. All right, here we go. Poor Liz. Um, so this one, uh, these are some like real life examples with uh, real information um, and how scientific notation is used in science. So problem number two says light travels at a speed of 1.86 uh, times 10 to the fifth power miles per second. It takes light from the sun about 4.8 times 10 to the three seconds to reach Saturn. Find the approximate distance um, from the sun to Saturn. So uh, distance is equal to a rate times time. And so the rate that they give us here is 1.8 six um, times 10 to the fifth um, miles per second. And then the time is equal to 4.8 times 10 to the third, I think, um, seconds. So, uh, uh, does everybody have a calculator? Okay, can I get two volunteers? Yep, yep, you, 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 all three of you, come get them. All right, so now we can do this pretty easy by just, we just have to multiply these values together, right? So, I'm going to take 1.86 times 10 raised to the fifth. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to multiply it by 4.8 times 10 to the third. Now, what you guys don't know is that Mr. Adams has his fancy teacher book here. And I really couldn't read. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was 10 to the fifth and 10 to the third because it's a little blurry on my end. It is because when I looked at my teacher book, the answer was 10 to the 8th. Where do we get 10 to the 8th from? Yeah. We're, yep, you guys are right. Adding the powers of 10 together, right? 5 plus 3 equals 8. So now when I hit enter, I get this number. So here's the, and I'm going to copy this and we'll put it. Um, they want the answer written in scientific notation. So I'm kind of glad that your book does it this way or your calculator does it this way. So let's, uh, let's, let's jot it down here. So for problem number three, um, what I want to do to figure out the notation, it should be 10 to the eighth, right? Somehow, but let's double check. So I'm going to start over here and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to go to where there's just one digit left. Does that make sense? Where I only have one digit on the left. So then that becomes 8.928 times 10 to the eight miles, right? Okay. Can you spell eight? Yeah. That's what I said earlier. I'm sorry, you were passing out the calculators, but I said, I said, uh, when I double checked the answer in the back of the book, I noticed the answer had uh, 10 to the eighth. And that's how I knew that this was five and this was three because you add those up. Yep. Um, let's move on to the next one. So the next one says light travels at 1.7 times 10 to the seventh miles per minute. Um, and Pluto's average distance is this far. On average, how long does it take? So we have the same formula where we have the distance is equal to the rate times time. We want time by itself. Now, you haven't learned this yet because it's an algebraic concept. But if I want to get time by itself, I do the inverse operation. And we'll talk more about this as we get closer to the end of the school year. Good, good. I'm glad that you do know. Then just be quiet and listen. So, so then R T means R times T. So whenever I want to move something away or to the other side of the equal sign, I do the inverse. What's the inverse of multiplication? Division. So if I want to move the R that is now multiplying by T, then what I would do is divide by R. 
okay? And whatever I do on one side of the equation, I do to the other. We get a brand new equation that says t. Remember, r divided by r is just one. One times t is t. We get a brand new equation. T is equal to d over r. Uh, what's d? Um, That's the distance, right? So the, what's? But I guess what I was saying was, what is the actual distance according to the problem? Yeah, it's this really big number, 3,670 3, million. That's a big number. And then the time is miles per minute. Well, actually, that's a rate. So that would be 1.17 times 10 to the seventh. And so this is miles. And here's an interesting thing. I don't know if you guys are aware of this. This is a fraction. So this is miles per minute. Well, what do you do when you what do you do when you divide by a fraction? You multiply by the reciprocal. So the units miles per minute when you multiply, see how that's on the bottom of the fraction? That means that we're dividing the numerator by miles per minute, which is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Right, you remember that? So then what happens, miles divided by miles and our answer is left in minutes, which is what we want because it's the time. All right, let's do the math. Um, three, six, seven, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, divided by, and then I'm going to put this in parentheses, 1.17 times 10 raised to the seventh. Close parentheses. Oops. And our answer is actually really short. It's like 300 and well, you probably put something in wrong when you put it in the calculator. So I've got I've got this answer. And I'm going to take a screenshot because they want us to write the answer in scientific notation. So let's do that. So this is the math. So if I write this in scientific notation, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this decimal two places, right? Um, does it tell us to round the answer, write your answer in scientific notation? No, but I'm going to. Can't, isn't that about 3.14? Right? So if I want to round, I've got the 3 here. This is a 6, so that means that we would round up, right? So I'm going to say 3.14 times... 10 to the, how many units did I move it? No, from here, 1, 2, 10 to the second power. 10 to the seventh was one of the units that we started with, but when we did all of our math, we ended up with 10 to the 2. And if you count this, so here's the interesting thing. To make this, if I were to make this, write this in scientific notation, it would be 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's really 3.67 times 10 to the nine all over 1.17 times 10 to the seven. If you take the powers of 10, that's really 10 to the nine minus seven which is equal to what? 10 to the 2. Now, sometimes you might be off by one or more because the numbers in the front, when you multiply them or divide them, they might be more than 10, they might be less than 10. So that can have an impact. But this is a good common sense check. Okay? Any questions on that one? Is that Are those the answers you guys got? 